Alright guys, welcome back. Last episode we finally got on the inner side the inside tower of this town. This monolith. And let us revisit the history of how a town was destroyed and how Haldolf was created. What happened with the previous shepherd, for example. It did disprove one of my theories where I was thinking that maybe the previous shepherd was uh now Haldolf or something like that. Thinking in terms of like Final Fa certain Final Fantasy stories where there's a new savior and you go around the whole world and be a savior and oops, now you're the new bad guy and now the next savior has to rise up and it's like a cycle over and over again. Uh, nope. Uh, but we were there when he was created. Wow, that grass is just going straight through the ground, huh? That seems unintentional. Oh well. Uh, we did find a cool little bit of story about how Heldalf is directly tied to the heritage of Soray and Miklio, and now, interestingly enough, we kind of have a more personal stake in the matter. But, now, but it says to meet Maven outside. So let's see what he's got to say after what we've learned. You're back. What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure the monolith doesn't get damaged. Your thoughts? No one involved was fully in the wrong, but no one was really right either. That's how it felt to me. A useful understanding to reach. Now, your answer. Saray, let us hear your answer to this. My answer is I want to save Heldolf. The Shepherd's job doesn't just boil down to quell the Lord of Calamity, or even clean up the previous Shepherd's mistakes. When Malevolence consumes Seraphim and turns them into Hellions, we save them. Yet when it brings misfortune and grief to humans, we say they only have themselves to blame. It doesn't seem fair. So that is your answer. Dunno if it counts as one. There are humans out there just like Heldolf. He just happened to play one part in a cascade of terrible events. I'm not gonna say you shouldn't sympathize with him, but I will say it would strike me as bizarre to completely let him off the hook for the horrors he brought to such a peaceful village. And what he's trying to do now is still messed up, right? Absolutely. It's wrong, period, and I will stop it. But even so, you would save this man? If I won't save humans like Heldolf, who've had Hellionhood thrust upon them, I'll never see humans and Seraphim live in peace. I see. So then you... Really are an idiot. Yep. Saray is Saray, and we love him for it. That's right. He couldn't be anyone else even if he tried. So, Mr. Teller, that what you were looking for? For such a man, ending his loneliness would be the sole path to salvation. Do you understand what that means? Taking his life, I would expect. Saray, can you carry that burden with you? Indeed. That, even more than your answer, is the crucial matter. Right. What's important now is whether you truly will not waver. Or rather, whether you truly believe in your answer and are willing to accept its repercussions. No matter what happens, and no matter what cost. Dun dun dun! Wait, are you asking him to prove his determination in battle? Put bluntly, yes. In order to defeat one who has been abandoned in time, the bonds of strength must be severed. Show me how that is done. Defeat the one who has been abandoned in time? You can't be talking about... How to sever the bonds of strength. So eternal loneliness is a curse, you say? It makes sense now. Old man. Now then, show me! Right, row. Alright, no strengths, no weaknesses, as you would kind of expect from a human character. Alright, we're, we're play fighting, right? We're not gonna straight up kill him, I hope? I don't know. Don't hold back! I certainly won't! But even if there is a way to sever the bonds of strength... And if we were to actually use it... Then, what would happen to you? Do you see why it is you waver? Settle this, Shepard! Do not let Maven's conviction go to waste! I wonder if he has any tricks. Or if he's... 
I don't know if he's that actually strong at all. Is there any reason not to just, just use every spell on him? He has no strengths or weaknesses. So casting every spell would, would, would affect, lead to different status effects. Melee attacks! Oh, let's back away before he hits me with something. There we go. Let's try Edna. There we go. Uh, Edna has a few more tricks to throw away offensively. Especially the one that, uh, where she sort of li essentially like puts a mine on the enemy that triggers when a combo goes up. That'll help out. There we go. Yeah, she's ta she's taking plenty of damage. Oh yeah, there's a powerful spell. Charge up a little real quick. These casting times. <laughs> Oh, he, and then very abruptly he's down. All right, this fixes for that. Temporary or not. I'm careless. You're half dead. Oh no. Okay, I admittedly didn't plan for that. Wow. That's rough. That's a little rough to deal with. Jesus, Jesus. Alright, this was easier when I had teammates. Ow. Oh no. Little, su little surprised that he had a straight up meter to charge up that he, he apparently that let him do the same type of attacks we do. And just decimate our party. God damn. Recover a little bit. Just do what we can to sort of immobilize him a bit. If we can just stop him from doing anything, we're good. It's just... He has some nasty attacks. Oh, that looks dangerous. Oh, I walked into it. I thought it was over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't... No, don't... Don't abruptly make me lose. Saray. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, um... Let's switch to you. We desperately need to use reviving items. Actually, maybe not. Let's see. Can I not do anything? Oh, I was on item menu. I guess I could just switch to water, actually. There we go. Oh no! I forgot that would actually that would actually warp me into the middle of the thing. Blow him up! Come on! Break on through to the other side! Alright. He wants to stay in the middle of his AoE. I can take care of that. No, no, no. Oh, no. Stuns are bad. Aha! Range attacks. I don't need your... range. What I want to see is not a mere display of strength. So you really are immortal? You understand by now, don't you, the way to defeat me? Yes. Turn my friends into attacks with wills of their own, and use those attacks to pierce through the bonds of strength. What Dazzle said he did. Then why aren't you doing it? I'm not a Hellion. Even if you make use of that means, your friends will not be consumed with malevolence. <laughs> You won't admit it. After all, to demonstrate that method upon me is tacit acknowledgement that it is your only option withheld off as well. But Maven, isn't there any other way at all? No. Even Lila's power is not enough to purify one as consumed with malevolence as he is. You should know that. Saray. Rose. If you weigh lives on scales, you will falter at the crucial moment. All the more so if it is your friend's lives in question. But if you do waver, 
and your wavering leads you to a faulty answer, you may never recover. In this way does virtue become vice. <sighs> but if you will die for the answer you truly believe in, even failure will not stop you from rising again. What you should fear is not failure, but rather that fear itself will compromise your belief in your answer. Lila. Now then, Saray. If you intend to make this a first, then I shall end it. Show me, not just with words, but with the spirit of belief. I shall end this. Luminous Saber! It is a damn shame, Lila. Unfortunately, it looks like they still don't understand. So, it was all for naught. No, just a little bit more. Even when they resented their own helplessness, even when they grieved for a fallen comrade, even when evil schemed to lead them astray, Saray and his companions have pushed ever on, never losing themselves. Knowing fear, but not malevolence, they came all this way to stand here together. You're really something. I don't like having regrets, and I don't like giving them to other people either. Don't you forget it. Saray, Rose, you paralyzed or something? Going up against Hellions is already life or death. They shouldn't be new to you. Edna... Savid... It's just as they said, Rose. Saray, do you remember what I told you? Back at Lady Lake? I didn't come all this way just to be a liability. I said it before. Do I need to say it again? No. If the Shepherd Saray truly believes in his answer, then surely may he bring an end to the Age of Chaos. Then show us. Show us your answer. Saray! Everyone. You have good friends, lad. Darn right. Let's go! Come at me! We Look out! Lord of Water! Resilient! Blue Don't just charge in there! We Maven! This is... My answer! Old man! Maven? I thought I could hold out until you finished it, but... Maven? Oh, I'm so sorry it came to this. You're an idiot, too. You're not wrong, but I have no regrets. What's going on? What are you saying? Come on! It's because I violated the taboo. If the user breaks the terms of the oath, the special powers granted by the oath likewise vanish. You should have told us. Please, do not blame Lila. She merely did what she believed was right for all of you. And it was my decision to make as well. I believe too. In my answer, and in my friends, and for their sake I will not waver in what must be done. So there will be no regrets. It is time to say our farewells. I promise. I'll never forget what you've told me, Maven. And I'll teach it to others as well. Saray, you've... <sighs> never did I imagine I would die with others by my side. Thank you. Let's go!
To Camlon? Yeah. Maltellus should still be there. Let's make for Alicia first. There should be a road there leading to Camlon. We saw Gramps come running when the village fell. Oh, that makes sense. So Camlon was close to Alicia. Very likely. That fits with the idea that it was a strategically important location for Highland, Rollins, and the Northern Powers. Yeah, good point. But it looked to me like the road to Camlon was sealed off. Yeah, by my mother. You can cry if- I told you I'm not going to cry! Looks like this is the final battle. Let's end this. Right on! Sounds like it's time to go to Elysia then. Alright. Whereabouts am I? There's new. Oh. I guess the closest save point's actually if I just go back inside. Alright, so we're going all the way back to the beginning. We actually we haven't had a lot a reason to go to Elysia in general, really. I kind of revisited there at one point just to, just for the sake of it, more than anything. So if we cut the tie between Mautelis and Heldolf, we'll be home free, right? I'm not so sure about that. He's strong enough to use the Earth itself as a vessel. Will that really be all that it takes? Right. We'll probably have to purify all the malevolence attached to the land as well. Is that right, Lila? She sells seashells by the seashore, yep! She, she sells, sells seashells, seashells by, by the, the seashore. seashore! He's got to be doing that on purpose. Originally, he was the one who would purify the land. His power was the blessing of the land itself. Like a natural purification of sorts, huh? Don't think that's gonna be enough this time. Certainly the activities of the Shepherds also contributed to the Earth's natural purification from the outside. But now it's just Saray, and no one else. We need to have a plan of action before moving on. But all the same, we can't sit around brooding all day. For sure. When a game has a relatively straightforward story that kind of plays out as predicted a lot of the time, it is actually really nice to just have, uh... It is kind of nice just to have some characters that just sort of uh, take the pits out of everything all the time. Edna and Zavid. Helps gloss over some of the more generic parts of the story when the, when they also aren't taking it fully seriously. Oh, you can't warp there. That's where we're trying to go, right? We need to find Heldolf. Shouldn't be all that hard. He can hide all he wants, but you can smell the stink of his malevolence from miles away. Let's see what happens if I try to warp in general. Oh. I'm not allowed to go anywhere, am I? Alright, well that just suggests that I'm supposed to just start running towards the bridge from here. Okay. That's usually what it means when you can't warp anywhere, is that you're supposed to trigger an event along the way. So I just need to start walking in the direction of the rest of the world. And hope, and we'll probably randomly see Heldolf somewhere on the bridge or something. Did you hear? Another war coming on! Yeah, looks like both Rollins and Highland are ready to take the kid gloves off. It's gonna get ugly. Yeah, and I hear it's all going down at Glaven Basin. This is too good! Damn straight! Food and weapons! Medicine and coffins! We're gonna make a fortune! Another <laughs> war? <laughs> this is bad. If any more malevolence collects... That's probably exactly what he wants. You mean Heldolf, yeah? Let's go take a look. Sounds like it's around Glavend Basin. Apparently they decided that that war was just good enough to need to have a sequel. All right! I finally found where he's located. H hey! Careful! You okay? Thank yous. I'm a bit weary from my journeys. But it's time to settle the scores. Gotta hurry to the cat's corner. The turtles. He's still hurt. He's going to cat's corner, huh? Is he going to have a duel there? It's the illusionary village where cats live. <laughs> it might become a huge cat and turtle free-for-all. So, I wonder, where exactly is this Cat's Corner? I've never heard of it before. I don't know much either. We're gonna have to do some research. Hmm. Let's start by asking Seraphim who are knowledgeable about regional lore. 
Good idea. Guardian Seraphim are more likely to know something about the lore or legends. What a strange little bit to get sidetracked on. Okay. Let's take a look around then. Oh yeah, I could, I could talk to you, couldn't I? Oh no, I have to actually warp to you to talk to you. Alright. Do I have the ability to warp wherever I want now? Not, not to Alicia. Nope, I can only go to as far as Lastin Bell out of these ones. Alright. Let's go back to Logren, perhaps. If maybe I can talk to the local leader and find out a little bit about this cat's corner. They said to lock they said to talk to Seraphim, and the only ones that the Lord's the land are basically the only Seraphim we have contact with anymore. There you are. This is just hearsay, but supposedly cats have the ability to transform into actual cats. At least, that was the rumor I heard a long time ago. No idea if it's true though. That's all you got on for me? That's all he's got for me, alright. Is war gonna break out again? You don't think Heldoff is planning something, do you? Or maybe this isn't him at all. Maybe it's just humans being humans. I don't know which is worse. Alright, you know what? Let's head towards, uh, there's a Glavine Basin. I feel like I shouldn't put off a war like this. Let's find our way over there. There we go. Oh, can't go in there. That's right, that's why everything's grayed out. So the forest is... Closest thing I've got, basically, right? Glavid Basin's over there. So for Volgren, I'd have to get to... You know what? I'll find my way over there. I have to... Remind me, I think it's... Rafe Falk Spirit Crest? I don't know. I'll have, to I'll have to warp around a little bit. This place, con this part of the map confuses me a little bit. <laughs> Alright, I tried warping to Volgren Forest. On the east end. Which is how we accessed this field last time. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the star. For a moment there, I was sure I, w I wasn't sure if I was going to find the, the right way in. <laughs> All right, you turned me away before. Where am I going? <laughs> Reporting casualties for the Blue Tempest Knights. 118 wounded, 30 dead. More bandages. Be careful. There's Report. A Approximately 50 casualties powers. on the enemy side. Is it over already? Don't kid yourself. It's no more than a skirmish along the front lines. If both armies were clashing full on, the body count wouldn't be anywhere near this low. This low? Where are the Platinum Knights? Sir, they're still struggling to evacuate Lastenbell. Can't they see there's no time? Saray, there's no point in just staying here. The Platinum Knights are in Lastenbell. Let's go see Sergei. Yeah. All right, so we're turning right back around. I believe Lastenbell is just on the other. Uh, yeah, it's on the opposite side from uh, Volgren Forest. So I just need to cross that more or less. I'm with Rose, uh, Saray. Ultimately, 50 deaths on one of the sides is pretty small for anything that you're going to call a war. Still tragic, of course. Oh, hello. That's not good. At all. Boss! Talfrin, what happened? We were all... <clears throat> captured in Pendrago. They said we murdered the Cardinal. At the behest of the Kingdom of Highland. <clears throat> what? But I was the one who... It was Lunar. He approached the Empire and suggested they frame it this way. Of course. The Empire was just itching for a justification to launch a war. If they could tell the world that Highland had assassinated their Cardinal... Almost too perfect. Lunar laid an ambush for us. If Egil hadn't shielded me, I would have... I'm sorry. I couldn't do anything but run away. We knew this might happen sooner or later. Part of the job description. But still... Rose, you should go. But we have to stop the war! We all know what they'll do now that they've trumped up a justification. Dispose of the evidence. You can't leave them like that, can you? 
After all, they're your family. You said it yourself, didn't you? You and I have two very different jobs. Thank you. I'll be back. What about us? Should we be rescuing the scattered bones or stopping this war? Both are vital, but we can't be in two places at once. Sergei's in Lastenbell. Alicia's probably at the Highland Army base. Then... If I remember correctly, wasn't there some kind of cave or something leading to Highland around here? Right, the Lamarack Cave. They're telling me to go back down to that cave down there. Alright, so you can... Wow, these are all over the place. You can help Sergei. I mean, you can meet Sergei, help Rose, or go to Highland, to the battlefield. A lot of decisions to be made here. Huh. Gonna have to think about this one a little bit. I wish I could help, but in this shape, I'd just hold you back. Please, save our boss. Sorry. I have no right to ask you that, but... But nothing, apparently. <laughs> They're done talking. I figured I'd come to Lasten Bell because maybe I could convince Sergei that this entire war is false. I guess he kind of already know. He might already kind of know that because he was there. But, I mean, maybe we can undermine this whole attempt to falsify this war. Ah! Lies and prevarications! That's all you're good for! Yeah! Why aren't you fighting back against Thailand? Please, calm down and listen to me! I'm sorry. I couldn't stop war from breaking out. There's time to prevent the worst. Yes. I'm trying to minimize the casualties. That's why I'm asking the citizens to evacuate the- Screw that! Did my dad and brother die because of those Highland bastards so you could run away? You useless, bleeding-heart pacifist! So we just hand Last and Bell over to Highland, is that it? Never! You must understand the danger here. Highland is sweeping towards us with their entire army. Then we'll fight back with our entire army! The killing will never stop at that rate! A knight afraid of killing his enemies? You should be ashamed of yourself! Yeah, get out there and slaughter those Highland scum! It's our city and our property! We'll never surrender it! You coward! You don't even care! Your job should be to protect us! Let's step outside of town for a moment. Man, random peasants are just the absolute worst people that exist anywhere in every in every. Don't RPG. you run away, you craven good for nothing! Oh, shut up! I want everyone to die in a ball Traitor! of fire. Oh yeah, we're having a bad time Chicken here. Chicken knight, have you no pride? To be fair, with that wing on his chest, he's kind of inviting to be called the Chicken Knight comparisons. What a weird armor design. Put your life on the line for justice! Uh, everyone's mad at him, just across the entire board. I guess people aren't allowed to have a variety of opinions like a real population would around here. I think he's just gonna run over here. I guess I'll just walk in there then. Nope. Gotta wait for him. Come on. I know your armor's heavy. There you go. There you go, buddy. What do you want to talk about? How your job sucks and everyone's awful? <laughs> Ignorant townsfolk! They don't even know what you're going through! Nevertheless, I can understand where they're coming from. The clash with Highland has already cost us many lives. But still... The citizens' malevolence has suddenly intensified. It's like there's something else going on. Sergei, we'd like to help you with this. Ah! A Hellion! Sergei, watch out! Daddy! There's something wrong here, but... Men, take Formation 3! We cannot pull back if the people of Rollins are threatened. Run, child! <gasps> we should join them. Right! Maybe. 
I'll thank you to stop interfering. Not after all my work setting this up. So you were behind this! Well, look who's a little, little insufferable scum lord. Can I pop in a quick save? I never know how far the back they're gonna send me if I do lose at something. Sometimes it's the beginning of the attempt, sometimes Hurry. it's way earlier. We need to break her domain! Yeah, otherwise Sergei's in big trouble! So she's the one that's setting these two groups against each other right now, as expected. I mean, there's not a lot of other characters that could be involved. It's basically her, Heldolf, and Maltran. Wait! There's someone over there! Oh, we're about to fight a fake Sergei, aren't we? Yes, we were able to drive off the attackers. Zavid! Huh? Whoops. Don't respond to the Seraphim, stupid. To fool even the wind. Impressive illusions. Good thing her acting sucks. I'm just too much of a people person. What are you up to disguised as Sergei? The question is, what am I not up to? But I know what he's up to right now. And that's getting torn to pieces by Hellions! Oh yeah, they're just trying to distract me while- Oh right, I was about to switch to Rose and Rose isn't in my party. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're trying to distract me while they wipe out my friends, basically. Let's go ahead and switch to Saray. He's got the melee attacks. We're going to want to interrupt the casters as much as we can. I figured this would be a, a, an illusion, because last time we saw this woman, she uh, was spawning those fake copies of the blonde, weird lion man that's, well, not held off. <laughs> Bring it on, Shepard! <sighs> this feels wrong! That's the point! Don't hold back! Got it? Right! This isn't Sergei, no matter what! What if it was Sergei? What if that was the trick? She's going all, like, ventriloquist on us. <laughs> And just pretending to, th to be, get, be getting that voice from Sergei. You're a derb little shit, aren't you? What are you weak against? Fire. Alright. It sure would be handy to have uh, more allies right about now. Alright, um. Yeah, gotta get used to having a smaller party again, huh? Switch targets a little bit. Try to blow them away. Come on. Right, the tornado's technically fire, so she's pr they're probably resistant to that. Yeah, wind, I mean, technically wind, I mean. Yeah, we need to avoid the wind attack. Yeah, I need to work on these characters or we're gonna be in trouble. Let's go into some Mikleo healing. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Yep. Make a mess. Nope, no, no. God damn it. <laughs> Leave me alone, random assholes. I'm trying to wail on him for a bit. There we go. Oh, that seems like a dangerous thing to have. Well, that was weird. That time it only had Mikleo's voice, I think, instead of both of theirs. Seemed like a weird mistake, almost. Hello, friend. Ow. Ow. Definitely having a few issues where the dodge seems to be moving more than I expect it to. Well, the important thing is he's healed. Go play with fire for a little bit. There we go. Let's need to work on these guys a little bit. Back away, back away, back away. Oh, there we go. Did I kill the other one already? I think I did. Ah, uh, Sergey's almost down. I should just focus on him at this point. Ow, ow. No, bad touch. 
<laughs> Every now and then it only says the... The, uh, only the Seraphim says the, the name of the move. Oh, crap. M move! Move! Crap! I was totally paralyzed. Oh, that was way less effective of a heal than what Miklio did. Bummer. Ow. That was weird. Ow, oh, god damn it. God, okay, god damn it. I can't fucking move. This is getting frustrating. Please heal. There we go. Getting paralyzed by the number of attackers. God damn it! <laughs> just let me attack for a just for a second. Come on. There we go. That's more or less what I was hoping. No. Okay. Jesus Christ. No, not that. Not that. Not that move. Ow. Y'all are being rude, frankly. Uh oh, she's down. Get out of there! Get out of there! I can't see what I'm doing. Camera, come on, man. You gotta do better than that, camera. <laughs> God damn. Hello? Nope. Trying to get a little bit of health back. It's not really working very well. This camera is so garbage during this fight. It keeps getting completely stuck and where I can't see anything in the fight. It's really kind of embarrassing how... Come on, camera. <laughs> Just let me see my own character for a second. <laughs> Here we go. So Sergey went down, so this will, this is this will be comically easier now. Because these are just some dumb casters. But I, I, I just couldn't focus on them properly while Sergey was alive. But I couldn't focus on that uh, Sergey properly when they were alive. But now that now that one of them has been taken out, their uh, their whole strategy is going to fall apart. Ain't you overdoing it a bit there, Mixter? No, this is about normal for me. Hmm. You show no mercy at all, do you? Why would we? You're not Sergei. But of course, you and Chivalry Timbers, two peas in a pod. Friend equals save. Enemy equals kill. No malevolence equals protect. Hellion equals exterminate. What a simple and beautiful world you live in. How utterly convenient. Huh? What are you getting at? I'm saying that all it comes down to is your ego. An ego that is the foundation of malevolence. That's not true! Yes, I fan the flames. I won't deny it. But it's perfectly natural for the people to be filled with rage and hatred. But you call it malevolence and you try to stamp it out. The mission of the Shepherd, the Code of Knighthood. Whatever name you devise, the excuse remains the same. Tell me, Shepherd, what definitive proof do you have that you yourself are not corrupted by malevolence? Hmm? Nonsense! Saray is not corrupted! Of course not. As pure and righteous as your previous Shep- I'm not doing this for the sake of some mission or person. I'm doing it because I believe in it. That's all. And Sergei is the same way. A lame stab at justification. Wrong. I've always been like this. And he always will be. With the support of your friends, huh? So that's what sustains you. Sarei. Let's go back. Sergei will be all right. Some of us are low on health. Sure hope sorry, uh, that uh, Sergei is okay. This was all a uh, pretty cheap uh, attempt to distract us and tear us away. Had to break down their... Uh, she was just gonna run away for a while and then disguise herself as Sergei and just try to keep her domain up as long as possible Sorry, to cause problems there. for everyone else. Looks like the... Sergei! I'm... I'm fine. However... Captain Sergei, we heard what happened. Thank you for rescuing this child. I, I just wanted to avenge my father and my brother. I know how you feel. But if you act on every impulse, you're no different from the beasts of the forest. I didn't care about any of that. I thought if I could kill even one Highlander, I could die happy. 
You should know better than that. We're all human. There's no reason we can't find a better path to follow. Can we search for that better path together, so that no more have to die? Very well. We'll hear you out. That's all I can promise. I am honored. The truth is... I too yearn to fight like a beast. Everything I say is a lie. I must be entirely corrupted by malevolence. Not at all, Sergei. I wonder what Rose is up to. I hope she isn't doing anything unwise. It'd be unwise to hope for that at all. If it bugs you that much, why don't you go to Pendrago? Do you think Alicia would be at the Highland Army base? This whole thing is her worst nightmare come true. It's gotta be awful for her. Yeah, cause she's painfully sincere. Like someone else we all know. Uh, uh. Saray, let's head on over to the Highland camp. They definitely want you to know exactly where to go. They're probably gonna repeat those pieces of dialogue until you check out all those spots. Well, Sergei, he doesn't understand it fully, but the whole reason why he's not corrupted by malevolence is because of the fact that he understands that his own base desire is to seek revenge and to fight for his people, but he's still willing to have the restraint not to go into out full, full out war because that's how everyone dies. The main force is preparing for an all-out attack, but I will do everything in my power to stop the war before this can happen. Alright guys, I think I'm going to cut it here. Thanks for watching like always, I'll see you next time where we're probably going to deal with uh, Rose and or Alicia's little storylines. Definitely leaning towards Rose just so I can get a full party together because the effectiveness of the party definitely drops the moment that she's uh, taken. See you next time.